I'm back. Did you miss me? I missed me. So, this vlog today, Monday's vlog, includes Saturday and Sunday and today for you. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do this every weekend, but I'm thinking about it. I now understand why a lot of vloggers, most vloggers, only vlog Monday to Friday because everybody needs a weekend. Everybody needs a little bit of work. So, you know, you film a little on Saturday, film a little on Sunday, then do your regular vlog on Monday, and then you just get a bit of a bigger, blog, bigger vlog on Monday. I understand why people do that. So, we'll talk about it throughout this week, see if I continue doing that or not. It was kind of nice, but... Uh, for this weekend, my only excuse was I just needed a little break. I needed to get a lot of stuff done, hang out with family and stuff. Anyways, here is Saturday, Sunday, and Monday for you. Top of this fine morning to you guys. Let me get the lights turned on here. Because you know, most people turn them on before they start vlogging, but me. I'd rather turn them on with you. I'm a sharer. So, yeah, we're home. Yay! Oh, this is kind of a mess. James was down last night. Uh, we didn't vlog anything, but we had a blast. Uh, went and played pool, and went uh, through some trails in the bush with my car. <laughs> and we came back here and we watched half of that movie I bought the other day, and then we fell asleep. Uh, but he went fishing today, he invited me uh, to come with, but I said, oh, I gotta mow my lawn and whatnot, so I had to stay home, mow my lawn, and I've been working on some YouTube stuff and cleaning up, had a shower. Now we're gonna go into Steinbeck and go to Walmart, because <laughs> Walmart's awesome. You guys remember how many leaves were on these trees when we were here last? There was at least one leaf on that tree when I left, now there's not even one. There was actually like hundreds of leaves. Hey, that tree down there still has leaves. That's strange. With the neighbors way over there have a dog around. They have a, got all their dogs outside. They just realized that Diesel's wandering around over there. And they're jealous that he's free and they're not. <laughs> their neighbors just yelling. There they are. The neighbor dogs. There's three of them. So funny. Good boy, Diesel. You're a very good boy out there. Good boy, man. Yeah. <laughs> just ignores them like a boss, like they just don't mean anything to him. You're not even worth a bark. <laughs> Diesel, maybe you're a little full of yourself, aren't you? Maybe you should have said hi. Why well, you always tell me not to, man? Very true. You're a very good boy. Very good boy. <laughs> They're all going nuts over there, and he's just, you know, sniffing around, minding his own business, doesn't even look at them. That's my boy. Yeah. It's cold enough to break out the toque. How do I look? You miss it? This is my Tim Horner's toque. Alright, I mowed my lawn, riding my lawnmower with my toque today. Like a boss. Yeah, it was cool. It's worth a mention. So it's cold out here, as you can tell outside, all the leaves are gone. They gone. Bye bye. See you next year. Oh, well, yeah, it was kind of chilly out there when I was mowing along, so. Next time we're home, there could very well be snow on the ground. Have I ever shown you guys the beautiful flag of Manitoba? That is the Manitoba flag. You'll notice it's almost identical to the Ontario flag. <laughs> The Ontario flag has three golden maple leaves in that little green area, and we have a buffalo. So yeah, I really don't understand why our flag is so similar to Ontario's flag. I don't like that. I think Ontario should get a new flag. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. Ontario is obviously much older than Manitoba, because that's where Canada started. Canada started in Ontario. Uh, and then we, they took over Quebec. Now, I don't know all the history and whatnot anyways. It used to be, you know, English colonies and then French colonies. And then they had a war and the English won. They had a habit of doing that. They always had a habit of winning wars until the Americans stood up to them. But they took over the French and then it became 
Lower Canada and Upper Canada. And then eventually, in the 1800s sometime, was it 1876? 1867. Anyways, sometime around there, late 1800s, mid 1800s, Manitoba was officially a province of Canada. We joined the Confederation and we copied Ontario's flag for some reason. I don't know why. It's exactly the same. Except like I said, it's very, just we got a buffalo and they got maple leaves. I think Manitoba should get their own flag. Saskatchewan has their own flag. Alberta, BC, everyone has their own flags. It's for Manitoba. We just mooch off Ontario for our flag. That's not very cool. I think we're unique enough to have our own unique flag. But until then, we'll salute that flag. Fast forward to the next day, the next night actually. It's already nighttime. Oh, what's that over there? What is, it? what is that over there? Oh my goodness. That'll do. And there's a truck in that parking lot. You are not supposed to be able to get a truck in How there. did he get in that parking lot there? They even have those like bars over there so that you can't get in there. And there's signs everywhere that say no trucks in there. He went in there anyways. Like a boss. Okay, well, he's not supposed to be in there. Anyways, I wanted to show you these trucks. Uh, I'm here parked at the co-op in Winnipeg. And I'm parked here because in the morning, I'm going right down the street that way uh, to the Freightliner dealership where they have my part for my air conditioning. I'm gonna get my air conditioning fixed tomorrow, but I gotta go pick up the part and then I go to a different shop. A shop that I'm more familiar with, more comfortable bringing my truck to. Uh, I bring my truck there, they're gonna get everything fixed for me, get my bunk heater fixed, get my air conditioning fixed, service the truck. But I'm parked right between these two trucks here. Now, one's a Volvo. And a, another one's a Freightliner Sentry, just like mine. Exactly the same, pretty much. A little bit older, it looks like. I wanted to show you, they both got uh, bumpers on there. Now this one here has the light guard bumper. This is like a little, tiny little bumper, right? Like, these are the ones that I'm like, why do you even bother putting that on? That's not gonna stop much, right? It'll help, but it's not really gonna help because you're still gonna have to pay your deductible. Because if you hit a deer with that thing, it's still gonna mess up your hood, still gonna mess up your grill, gonna take out your headlight. You're still gonna have a big deductible to pay, whatever your deductible is. The guy beside me over there, I'm gonna show you in a second. He's got the alley arc bumper. Remember I talked about the alley arc bumper and that it wasn't quite as tough as I was looking for? I'll show you what the alley arc bumper looks like for my truck. See, this is the alley arc bumper for my truck. Well, it's on his truck, someone else's truck, but see how it's got the two posts, like I said there, the one bar going around the headlight. And it does look pretty tough, like, it does look pretty tough. This one whole bar going around there, whatnot. He's got the lights in there. Definitely want a roll of lights or like a light bar. That's the alley arc. It does look pretty tough when you come up. Look at it in person, right? Like that, that'll stop a deer for sure. I don't know about a moose, but I wanted more protection around my headlights, right? So here's my truck. Now, any kind of wildlife would mess that up. But what I wanted, instead of this one little bar going around there, I wanted a post just like that there. Like that's considered a post. I wanted another one of those on this side here. And then a bar going across. So that it's just like as tough as it is right in the middle of the grill, it's that tough right in front of the light as well. So yeah, that's what I've been talking about. I know I've shown you on a couple of different trucks, but that's what it would look like on my truck if I were to get an alley arc. Not good enough for me. I want tougher. Mm -hmm. So yes, I know there was no vlog yesterday or maybe the last two days. I took it a little easy this weekend. We had Thanksgiving uh, supper with my family today and uh, I hung out with James the other day. So I've just sort of been relaxing, enjoying my home time. And of course the vlogs will go back to their daily regular routine once I get back on the road. So yeah, don't gotta worry about that. I'm not slowing down or nothing. I'm not quitting, don't worry, don't worry. Uh, we're gonna be resuming our regular schedule as soon as I'm back on the road. So I don't know, I might take some breaks like this sometimes when I'm at home, just to you know, take some me time. I said I don't have to worry about bringing a camera out every time, <laughs> every day when I'm at home, but 
No worries, I know you guys understand. You guys are all awesome people. All 30,000 of you, man, there's a lot of you out there. But hey, there's always room for a few more, so if you do enjoy my videos, uh, my regular videos, my home videos, whatever videos you like, go ahead and hit that share button, share it out on your social networks. I am totally cool with that. If you wanna show it on your website, just put a link to my page so that people are directed to my YouTube page. Um, as a content creator, uh, the creators like me own all the rights to the videos that we post online because it's original content that I made that came out of my own brain and into my camera, out onto my computer, through the internet, and into your eyes and ears. It's my creation. So, yeah. You can post them wherever you want. Uh, just make sure that it's a link back to my YouTube page. That's all I ask. That's all I ask. But hey, if you like them, chances are there's probably some other people you know that like my videos. So why don't we have like a Share Trucker Josh video? Uh, or a Share Trucker Josh video day. Maybe once a week. Just randomly I'll say, hey, today's the day. Tell someone about Trucker Josh. I don't know. You guys can do that on your own. <laughs> I'm not going to force you to do that. I don't care. You guys don't have to. Diesel, what are you doing for Diesel? Yeah, I need more friends, man. Look at me. Diesel, look here. No, I'm not looking at you, man. Not until they share my video. Well, you heard the guy. You need to share the videos. Every one of them. I'm just messing with you guys. So we're going to be uh, hanging out here at the co-op, like I said, for tonight. And uh, be getting our part tomorrow. And we will talk to you then. Stay tuned. See you then. Good morning to you from my homeland. From my homeland. I'm in Winnipeg right now. I just got this... Crazy, ridiculously overpriced air conditioning line part that I needed for my truck. $180, thank you very much. Very nice when pointless things break like that after having them fixed, but hey, still gonna be a good day, whatever. So I figured why not, we'll uh, start off the day on a good note and say I'm in a good mood getting the truck fixed today. We're gonna have air conditioning again. We're gonna have a bunk heater again. We're gonna have the truck service. She's gonna be all happy. And there's a Tim Hortons coming up on the left there. I'm not gonna stop at it though because there's too much traffic here right now. When I drove local in Winnipeg, this was one of the main areas I would be in, in St. James and uh, up Route 90 here. If you haven't figured that out already, we're going south down Route 90. Uh, we're approaching Saskatchewan Avenue here. In Winnipeg, not in Saskatchewan. I know, we have a Saskatchewan Avenue here named after our neighboring province. But they have a Winnipeg street named after us in their province. So it's, you know, it's like a buddy-buddy thing. We sort of switch names and here you can have our name if we can have your name type of thing. Yeah. All right, look at this guy's load on the back of his pickup here, eh? Look at that. Thinks he's the boss. I'm bigger than you. I'm the boss. Hey, Diesel, we're the boss. So I'm gonna show you a little clip of me driving through this. Uh, it's like a very popular road in Winnipeg, in West Winnipeg. Like I was saying, called Road 90 going south. I could have taken the perimeter, but to me it still feels like a little ways around to take the new Canada Port Center way, whatever it's called. I don't know, I'm not used to it. I guess I'm a little old school. And plus I wanted to see my old neck of the woods where I used to work all the time. I used to be here every single day, and the lights have not changed. They still turn red every time. I haven't figured out how to keep them green yet. I don't know.
of Timmy's over there. We're gonna go get our daily dose of Timmy's. And from there, we're headed to the shop where we're getting everything fixed. Really not looking forward to seeing how much it's gonna cost to get it all fixed, but at the same time, I just wanna get it fixed. Whatever, just, just fix it. Walking the weasel first thing in the morning. Walking the weasel. That was a delicious muffin. I had a pumpkin spice muffin from Tim Hortons. Mm. The muffin and it tastes like pumpkin pie. Mm. Mm. Oh, you're gonna go right there, Dilo. Man, you gotta warn me. I'm gonna walk right into him. I'll take you to the fire hydrant, man. Fire hydrant. Way better. Way better. That thing's massive, man. Yeah, there you go. Good boy. Yeah. So I'm walking from Tim Hortons back to my truck, right? I'm whistling to myself, humming, thinking, oh, what am I going to say to you guys next? What am I going to say to you guys next? I'm looking at the ground. I'm like, what is all this black stuff all over the ground? Like, black spot there, black spot there, black spot there. I'm like, what is all this stuff on the ground? Then I realized, oh, yeah, we built this whole development. All of this. They built it all on a natural uh, habitat for Canadian geese. This is where the Canadian geese have been coming probably for hundreds of years. Like right this area used to be like a little lake and this is where they'd come, you know, have their babies and raise them. And then when it got cold, like now, they take off to Mexico and North Carolina and Texas like, you know, like the rest of us would love to, but our governments don't allow us to do that just yet. They put a line in the dirt there line is always keeping us up here in the cold anyways so we gotta stay up here in the cold and yeah so all of this was built where they always used to come and nest right so that was geese crap that's what it was it was geese crap <laughs> good thing i didn't step in any of it because this whole parking lot and this whole area here just fills up with hundreds of geese every year right because the geese come back from north carolina and from the south they come up north and every spring and they come and land in the parking lot here and it's like a paved paved jungle like what happened to our home? Kind of a sad story actually, but yeah, so they just <laughs> hang out here anyways. <laughs> Why create a new home when you can just keep your old one? And so they cover everything in goose crap. I'm sure it drives the rich suburban people just right crazy. Now I don't want to disgust any of you or anything, so I'll warn you in advance. It's not that disgusting, but they cleaned a lot of it up over here, but you see all those brown spots everywhere. <laughs> the stuff there, stuff there. No diesel, don't eat that. Here comes the train. Can you hear it? Can you hear it? Now it's not gonna honk its horn. Honky horn train. I can hear it. Oh, come on, honk your horn. That's no fun. It's no fun. Why aren't you honking your horn? I'd be laying on that thing. If I was driving that train, I would be hanging off the air horn. There it is. Isn't that beautiful? That's a beautiful sound. Maybe have an itchy nose. Oh, that's strange. Oh, trains make my nose itch, apparently. Yeah, there's a train going through town. We just got home and uh, got the truck all fixed up. I'll talk to you about it in a second. It's good to be home again. Home again. I'm not gonna sing for you, don't worry. I only sing for myself. I'm greedy that way. So we spent all day, literally all day, getting these repairs done. Uh, did I mention it was all day? All day. You got all the hair on your lens. Has that been there a while? One second here. What are, you, what are you doing? That's not even a diesel hair. Where do you come from? Huh. Are there any more of them? I still got those two specks on the inside lens. I still gotta figure out how to get those off of there. How's that even get in there? Huh. Anyways, guys. Like I was saying, uh, it is now, what's the clock over there say? Quarter after eight, and I just got home. I slept in Winnipeg so that I could be at Freightliner at 8 a.m. this morning uh, so that I would definitely get there first thing, right? Because you know if I sleep in my own bed here, I've told you before, I'm gonna sleep in. So when I'm at home, I don't wake up early. I'm just one of those guys, I'm a night owl. It's not like I sleep in late and go, <laughs> no, 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 no. 
I sleep in late, but I stay up real late. Yeah, I'm a night owl. I stay up till probably like three, four in the morning when I'm at home, which really messes with my schedule when I have to leave first thing in the morning. <laughs> I don't really like that when that happens. But you know, whatever. It's all about being an adult. You gotta be responsible about it, right? Uh, if you gotta leave in the morning, you gotta leave in the morning. You can't just sleep in. Sometimes you just gotta get up. So I'm not always that lucky, but if, if I can, I'll take advantage of it and sleep in. Anyways, what are we talking about? Diesel, wanna say anything to good people? This is probably gonna be a long vlog already because I'm not too sure if I'm gonna connect this on to yesterday's footage. Probably, I'll just make it one vlog and I'll make it a Monday vlog and then you guys will have no videos on Saturday, Sunday. Sorry guys, you know, that's not gonna happen all the time but everybody needs a break every now and then, right? Everything, Everything's okay though, don't worry. We're going back to the daily videos. We will be leaving either tomorrow afternoon or the next day. Not too sure yet. I already know what my load is, uh, but we'll talk to you tomorrow. You're just gonna have to tune in to find out. 4 a.m. Central Time, guys. There'll be another vlog right here on Trucker Josh Vlogs page.